say so to doing a data review and then making a decision on whether to try again, right there, ready right. to go. Right. So, uh, so you don't have it like work. Exactly. Yeah. So we shut the engine down. The engine shut down. It was a we were 50 psi over a certain pressure margin. As soon as the engineer got all the data out, Elon's sitting right there. The guy that basically designed all the rocket engines is sitting right there. And he figured out, well, we'll probably just have a little bit of crust build up on our, uh, on our GUI system. Uh, this, 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 it's called TTAP. Probably cussed it up, caused the high pressure. Raised the laser limit 50 psi. Set the limit, increased to this Iron Maiden program in, in uh, California where they ran it. This whole avionics system is here. It ran perfectly. Sent the software back, loaded the software, and went after it again. Engine, same thing happened, but this time we were in the start band on that pressure limit. Nice. Is, is that when I noticed, like, the one time the rocket, when it took off, it did like a swirl? No, oh, that was a little bit, that's a little more technical about it, the way the cooling tubes are on each one of the nozzles, because it's kind of, nozzles get cooled just like shuttle, but the right. tubes are kind of at an angle. Okay. It causes a swirl. And uh, uh, so they've countered that now with software and the way the road control is. So when we come out, it doesn't quite clock as hard. Oh, so I think the next design engine to the to the valve is straight. Bit, though? Yeah, what's that? You're still going to have a swirl a little bit? No, no. no. The software it'll countered be counted, it. It'll be all Over fixed count. with the it's software. countered it with the thrust vector control. See, that's the thing, you know. I mean, every launch we learn from. I mean, yeah, but that, that was pretty wild. It was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It was expected, though, and it was, yeah. it was expected. We all kind of knew. Yeah, it was a nice launch. And remember, there's every 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 uh, every rocket's got ten engines, nine on the bottom, one in the upper stage, and and every engine operates independently. And we can afford to lose two and still, still make it to orbit. The only uh, rocket that was able to do that before was Saturn V. Hey, you want them? Yeah, go ahead. Hey guys, follow me. I'll get you a better view.